Hey there boys and girls, welcome to our quick tutorial on photosynthesis in the chloroplast. Now you've already read and saw a video on how the leaves are designed to get the raw materials for photosynthesis. Now we're going to take a look at the actual reaction inside of the chloroplast that produces and carries out the process of photosynthesis to make food. So here we have a picture of a cluster of plant cells and I just want to go over a couple of structures so you're familiar with them. Uh, first of all, as you guys know, as we talked about earlier in the year, plant cells have cell walls and so the cell walls are these clear looking barriers around the perimeter of the cell which gives the cell structure and support. Now the next thing I'm going to point out is this clear fluid in the middle or the inside of the cell that everything's floating in. Animal cells have this in addition to plant cells and this is called the cytoplasm as you may remember. Okay and then our third organelle I just want to point out here is the star of our show. It's these green discs that you see inside and these are the chloroplasts. So the chloroplasts are the structures at which photosynthesis occurs. So as you can tell that photosynthesis is really important and all these cells have tons of chloroplasts in them to make plenty of food for the plant. Okay, so chloroplasts are actually filled with a green pigment called chlorophyll and it's this pigment that allows photosynthesis to occur. So let's take a look at the structure of a chloroplast so you don't just think that a chloroplast is a bag that's just filled with green pigment. Now this is the basic structure of a chloroplast. It doesn't have everything but it just has the things that I'll talk about. So first of all we have the outer membrane and the inner membrane. Just like any membrane they allow things to pass on through. And then we have the two structures in which photosynthesis occurs in. We have the thylakoid which is this flat disc right there. Okay and then they're stacked on top of other flat disks or thylakoids. So they look like stacks of coins. Well the stack is called a grana which you don't have to be worried about and then each individual coin in this stack would be a thylakoid. And then lastly we have the stroma which is where the second part of photosynthesis occurs. The stroma is just the space between the inner membrane and the thylakoid so it's a fluid filled space. So these are the parts of the chloroplast. Now let's take a look and see what actually goes on in the process of photosynthesis. Alright so as we talked about and you read about and we've you've heard photosynthesis does have an equation and this is the equation up here. Okay so here on the left we have what are called raw materials. These are the things that are needed to carry out the reaction. These are the ingredients so to speak. So we need six atoms of carbon dioxide or six molecules of carbon dioxide six molecules of water and sunlight and these raw materials will undergo a reaction and create products such as six oxygen molecules and one glucose molecule and this is why plants carry out photosynthesis they want this molecule right here because this is the sugar they need to make energy so in our diagram we have our raw materials at the top here we have our water now for the record I know these are water droplets not water molecules but I picked droplets so you can better identify uh, with the water and then we have sunlight which are the yellow arrows here and then we have our carbon dioxide. Carbon has one carbon which is the one black atom in the molecule and then it has two oxygens which are represented by the two red molecules. So in this diagram or in this lesson here the red molecules will be representing oxygen. So here's what happens. In the first part of photosynthesis sunlight is going to travel from the sun Okay, eight, eight minutes through space and then it's going to travel through our atmosphere and down towards the surface of the earth and hit a leaf and then go through the leaf and travel through the chloroplast and it's going to strike the thylakoid. Alright so the light's going to strike the thylakoid structures here. While that's happening we talked about how leaves have vessels and in those vessels they have vascular tissue called xylem. And the xylem is what carries the water. So while all the sunlight's coming in, water is also being transported into the chloroplast. Now, when that happens, the light is going to split the water. So if we take a look up here, you'll see that uh, water is hydrogen and oxygen. So the oxygen is going to be split apart from the hydrogen, and then the oxygen is going to be floating freely in the chloroplast. Well, oxygens don't like to be alone, so they're going to buddy up with another oxygen and create molecules called O2 or oxygen molecules. And this is how the oxygen that we breathe is created. 
the splitting of water makes the oxygen and then the oxygen leaves the chloroplast and then leaves the plant cell and then leaves the leaf and then goes into the atmosphere where we happily breathe it into our lungs and use it for energy. Okay, so that's the first part of photosynthesis is just a splitting of water. Produces oxygen as a waste, but the main reason why this happens is so energy is made. Now, when the energy is made, this energy is going to be used for the second part of photosynthesis. Now, these energy molecules then leave the thylakoid. Okay, so they travel out into the stroma. And when they travel out into the stroma, they're going to react with diffused carbon dioxide that's already been inside of the, the chloroplast. Now, this reaction here between the energy and the carbon dioxide is super complicated, so we're not really going to go through it, but you should know that the energy reacts with the carbon dioxide and rearranges it to make this molecule here. This is our glucose molecule. And then once the glucose is made, it travels out of the chloroplast and then into the phloem vessels or the phloem tissue of the vessels and then the glucose gets sent out to the rest of the plant so the plant can make energy. Okay, so this is how chloroplasts carry out photosynthesis. Thank you and I hope that was helpful.